Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss about the controller. What is controller and how can create the controller? First of all, what is the controller? In MVC pattern rule, there have no such direct path in model to view or view to model. For that reason, they need one intermediate media and this intermediate media is controller. So now let's get started with the code. For finding out that controller, you have to go to the app and in the app there is a HTTP and that's all that are controller. So now if you want to create some of the controller, you can create two type of controller. One will be as a resourceful controller, another will be as a simple controller. So if you want to create one of the controller, then you have to do, you have to go to your project directory. So here you have to define the terminal with the CMD and I just want to create one of the controller as a PHP artisan and the make controller and now i want to define one of the simple controller for our project as a product controller okay so now I just name it as a product product controller so i just simply name it as a product controller so now if you click on the enter it should be automatically created one of the controller in our main controller area so here i just simply click on the enter now you can see in our main controller area, it's now created one of the controller as a product controller. So that is actually the one of the plain controller. You can see they have no defining method in particular that area. And also if you want to create some of the resourceful controller, then you can also do that work. It will be just like that same. Here you have to define as a PHP artisan make controller and the product controller. And here you have to define that resource. Okay, like I just define as a with this resource okay i just simply define as a resource and now like for education purpose i want to create one of the controller name as a test so i just simply define that name as a test and now i want to create one of the another controller as a resourceful controller as a test so now let's do that work i just click on the enter so like here i just define as enter now you can see it's now created one of the controller in our main controller area as a test.php so now if you open it and you can see when you create that resourceful controller all that our code method like there is an index method there is a create method there is a storage method for insert all the data you have to define all that your code in our that method area and there is our show method there is an edit method there is an update method and the destroy method so for the creating the code uh, that is our resourceful all that controller so you can create that controller like that way I think you can well understand about it. So I have created two of this controller, one of the plain controller as a product controller and also I have created the resourceful controller. So now you can see it's not perfectly created. So I think it's very much clear to you. So right now I want to use the plain controller then it will be very much interactive for you because we will create the same things. We will create the index method, the create method for our project. So now I just remove it. And also I want to do for our project, I want to create another model. Okay, so I want to create another model. So if you want to create that model, then you have to define as a PHP artisan make model. Okay, I just define as a bake model and I want for our project, I want to create one of the model as a product. I just name it as a product. So now if you click on the enter, it should be created one of the model in our model area. So that is our in our model area. Okay, so now I just click on the enter. Now you can see it's now created one of the model is created successful. So that is our product model. Perfect. So step by step everything I will show you how that our code application that is a Laravel main code functionality actually work. So we successfully created our controller and also we successfully created our model. So now we have to use it right. So how can you use it? How can read all the data from to the database and display that things in your found in? So if you want to display that found in data, then you have to work in your view area, right? So that is actually the MVC pattern. I think it's very much clear to you. So there is our model, there is a controller, and also now I want to work in our view page. That means the view page. So how Laravel structure actually develop? Like if you go to our site. So that is our side into the side here. You can see when you run your root directory by default, this page is loaded, right? So where exactly that file location? So if you go here, if you go to that route and with the route, if you go to that web route into the web route here, you can see they have some of the method. See in Laravel, there have six type of route method. There is a get method, post method, put method, delete method, patch method, 
and the options method. When you want to get any data from the database, then you have to use the get method. And when you want to insert some of the data into the database, then you have to use that post method. When you want to update some of the data from the database, then you have to use the put method. When you want to update one of the single field into the database, then you have to use the patch method. And also when you want to delete some of the data from the database, then you have to use the delete method. So every method, how the things exactly work, I will show you that things with the live example. So for now here, getting all the data, that is our route, that is our home route. Okay, so you can see that exactly the home route is now getting all the data and here it simply return one of the view page. So that is the view page in our view folder. You can see there is a view folder into the view folder. They have one of the file as a welcome. So that's the welcome blade actually work for our specific this page. Okay. I hope you can well understand about it. So that is actually the page. So like if you remove all from here and now if you click on the save all and now if you refresh it, now you can see everything is now become plain. So friend, I think you can well understand about it. So in our next video, I will go more deep in view page. Then it will be very much clear to you. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.